What up, this is July from Kickback Couture. I'm going to be talking about a few different types of distortion you can use in Reason. I'm going to go over the ones that come with Reason, the Racks, Scream 4, the 11, and then I'm going to go over uh, quickly, briefly, a free VST plugin called Temper, which is a distortion VST. So, I have a guitar sample, and the purpose of this is to show you that when you use loops or you get a sample, you don't have to leave it as is. You can manipulate it however you want. You can add delays, chorus. In this case, I'm going to show you how, how I would apply distortion ideally to a sample and then work that into a dope beat and make it sound unique. So I have Scream right here. And if you don't know about Scream, I'll just tell you briefly. There are three sections to Scream. This is the damage section, the cut section, which is an EQ, and the body section. So let's play around with Scream and get a feel for what it does. This is the damage level. I'm going to turn it down. These are all the distortion types. There are three, six, nine, ten different distortion types. So we got overdrive, distortion, uh, fuzz, tube, tape, feedback, modulate warp digital screen and um, you can just experiment with them and get an idea for what each each one does so for example overdrive is like analog style overdrive and the distortion is like uh, it's thicker than the overdrive um, digital is like um, what would you call it like uh, a bit crusher warp feedback Play around with them and see what you get. The parameters correlate with whatever is in the, in the columns above them. So, speed, compression, I'm using tape, so it will be in this row. Then the cut section is an EQ, so I could turn up the highs, but they're kind of harsh, so maybe turn up the mids. And I could hear a lot of rumble in the low, so I could cut those out and then add another high pass filter with the built in EQ. The body is kind of like a cabinet type. So the resonance controls the, the resonance of the body. Turn it up or down. The scale is the size of the body, so it's actually reverse. So higher settings equal like smaller size bodies, and then lower settings are larger size bodies. Auto gives it like a wah effect. And then type changes the body type. And here you can hear the, the wah more clearly. Moving on to D11, it has a lot less parameters. There are better things out there. Um, but to explain it, this setting down here is soft clipping. Once you get up here, you are hard clipping. And once you get over here, it is fold back distortion. So let's hear what that sounds like. So some soft clipping, some hard clipping back and this makes it sound gritty gives it more bite last thing I'm gonna go over is temper this is a free VST so I'll drop that link in the description can adjust the cutoff the resonance curve Drive, saturation, could dial back the level as it increased in level as we were adjusting feedback. And keep in mind, um, this VST does have a visual representation, but 
if you're using the rack extensions, you get that same representation with the EQ and you can see exactly what the distortion is doing to your signal. So this is with it off, the D11, and this is with it back on. See it adds some high end and gets that low end back jumping, which is, isn't necessarily what we want, so we can always just um, change the change the, what's it called, the signal flow um, here, or we could just add another EQ after our distortions. I think I'm going to go with some scream distortion for this sound though, and uh, mix that with temper, maybe give it a little bit of grit. Get this back on. And I'm going to add an EQ after this. To top this off, I'm going to run this through halftime. And I can add any effects, of course, I'm not limited. But I like how this sounds. Now I have a, a unique loop. So um, this is what it was before. This is with my effects. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that, that bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. Most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.